Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabtu fi Allah the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said in the context <coughs> of living in times after him and the confusion and fitna that would arise he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us a, not just a diagnosis of the problem but he gave us a prescription or a solution sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam man ya'ish man ya'ish min minkum ba'di فَسَيَرَى اِخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا Whoever lives after me will see many differences. So there's our, our diagnosis. You know, you're going to see a lot of problems. You're going to see a lot of differences. Whoever, whoever lives beyond the Prophet ﷺ. And that's why we saw all the groups and sects and all the ideologies and all the things cropping up throughout Islamic history. And the people taking that as their religion even those newly invented matters and those newly new ideologies and and the differences in the discord and the hatred look at how the Muslims <coughs> how there are people who claim Islam and a part of their aqidah is that they hate the Sahaba that they make takfir as a part of their religion thinking they're drawing near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursing Abu Bakr or Umar radiallahu ta'ala majma'in وَلَوْ كَرِيَ الْكَافِرُونَ وَلَوْ كَرِيَ الْأَحْلُ بِدَعْ وَإِلْهَادْ وَزَنْدَقَ نَعْمَ حَبِتِ فِي اللَّهِ So, فَسَيْرَا اِخْتَلَافٍ كَثِيرٍ You're going to see many differences. Then the Prophet ﷺ gave us the prescription. How do we deal with all this madness? All these people telling us this is right, telling me that is right. I need to follow this, I need to do this, I need to practice this. The mold is okay, this one's okay. But, you know, we can celebrate Christmas. Christmas, it's just a viewpoint. Come on, you know, it's okay that, you know, zombies are in our aqidah now. And, you know, come on, loosen up. It's upon you my sunnah. That's the prescription. That's the medicine. That's how we're going to get through this and how you're going to get through this in your life. Because you're going to die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen going to go on without you. It doesn't need you doesn't need me but rather we want to make sure we want salvation we want to be the fiqh to Najia that the Prophet Sallallahu said would be the ones who are saved from the fire when he said that the ummah would break and they would split and they would divide I know people are tired of hearing this same old thing splitting and dividing let's talk about unity well we talked about unity as well and the unity comes through kitab wa sunnah wa faham salaf salih it's got to be muqayyid. It's muqayyid, this unity. This unity is not just unrestricted. Khalas, he says he's Muslim. He, he likes the Persian Film Festival and he's going to, uh, you know, go to this concert and that concert. That's okay. It's okay in his aqidah. It's a part of his aqidah, in fact. This one wants to dance till slobber comes out of his mouth. That's okay. La abadin ahabatifillah. The deen is clear. The bayina is here. Kitab wa sunnah. And so our unity comes based upon that. So the Prophet Sallallahu going back to the hadith, he said, فَعَلَيْكَمْ بِسُنَّةِ سُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَ عَرَاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ عَدُوا عَلَيْهَا بِنَ وَاجِدْ He said, adhere to it, cling to it with your molar teeth. So that means you have to cling to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because there's going to be so many people who are just saying, brother, tone it down. Brother, we don't need to talk about that. Uh, sister, you know, you don't need to wear that. Uh, you know, loosen up. This is America. We can do it like this. This is the UK. We have a new way of thinking and we're, we're more modern than that. You know, there's going to be so many things that you're challenged with in your faith and you need to be able to go back to something. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, Alaykum bi sunnati. He says, it's upon you my sunnah. So if what the people are telling you is in accordance with the sunnah, then go with it. If what the people are telling you seems to go against the sunnah, seems to belittle the sunnah, seems to distract you and detract you from the sunnah, then leave it. 
إن الحلال بين وإن الحرام بين فبينهما أمور مشتبهة. Verily the halal is clear and the haram is clear and between it are doubtful matters. So save your religion by adhering to that which is clear and stay away from those newly invented ideologies and political ideologies and political ways of rectifying because in fact the rectification as Imam Malik said you'll find this in Tamheed Ibn Abdul Bar a narration and many of the Salaf are reported to have made statements similar to this La Yaslah Awala have it La Yaslah Akhra have he umma illa bima Salaha Awalaha Okama Okama that this ummah, this nation would not be rectified except with that which rectified the beginning of it. Meaning the later generations would not be rectified, meaning us and those after us. We are not going to have rectification in our religion except by the way that the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and what they, what they adhered to. And that's a book, that's a book in the Sunnah. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad, wa ala alayhi wa sallam.